Hello and welcome to ChiefTutor.com training videos and Chief Architect. Derek wrote in he needed help with a foundation for his porch. Ah, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, okay, so I've downloaded the program that you sent in. Let's see. Oh, uh, you want to use X2, don't you? And I think mine's popping up X3. And X3 does it completely different than X2. So what we will do is we'll just close this out. Actually, what we can do is we'll just launch X2 as well as X3. So I'm going to hold down Control, and I'm going to click on X2. And it says I'm running too many. So i got to hold down Control and continue to hold it down. And it says I'm running too many. So what am I going to do now? Let's try show in folder. Do, 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 do. Open with X2. So basically I wasted a minute out of your life. And if you're still watching this, <laughs> do you think I'm smart enough to edit it out? I'm not that smart. No, no. Okay, so the question was raised basically, how do I get a foundation on this porch? Uh, and as well as you want to create an arch with the beams. So um, we'll go down here to the zero level. I notice you have generated your foundation already. So let's go ahead and take a look at the plan. And cool little cottage house. I like that. Okay. So why don't we tile this vertically? So I got the plan here in the 3D and the 2D here. Okay, so there's many ways to do the porch thing. And there it is. See that gap there? That's what you're trying to fill, I'm assuming. So I'm going to select the porch area. I'm going to click one time with my left mouse button and open it up. I can also select over here, obviously. Same concept. Open it up. Um, in the Generals tab, we'll see that it told us a ceiling height for our first floor, where it cuts the plate height and where the floor is, and then G is that uh, foundation, or the start of the foundation. But of course, there is no foundation built underneath the porch uh, yet. So we want to get to G, and that's in the Structure tab. So we want to pop down here to Subfloor Thickness and just um, increase it to what you want. I'm going to say... Oh, 24 inches. Now I can leave it lumber or I can make it the solid concrete or whatever. Let's let's just keep it lumber. Keep it all simple. Click OK and bob boom There we go. That should be it. Um, another thing we can do, and I think you wanted to make it more realistic, is the floor thickness doesn't look quite right because it's just molding flush into the side or the new foundation of our porch. So a little trick I like to use is with the 3D molding. So I'll select inside the porch again, and I'll go ahead and turn it into a room polyline. And there's my polyline now. And I'm going to open that polyline up and see the specifications all set good. OK, I'm going to convert now my polyline, because it's just a two-dimensional item right now. I'm going to convert it to a 3D molding polyline. This will allow me to put my own special detail at the edge of this porch. Click OK, and this pops up, 3D Molding Specification. So I'm going to go to the Moldings tab, Square. Oh, I like the Square. I'm going to call it 2.5 high and, I don't know, 2.5 wide. Sounds good. And I want it to be zero offset from the top. So from the top, zero offset. And I'm going to most likely want inside out unchecked, but I'm going to leave it checked for now. Just click OK. And there it is. It appears. See it right there? OK. Now it isn't at the end of the porch, so we'll have to drag it out one at a time. So I'm just going to drag this piece out. I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to uncheck that inside out. And so now it'll flip it. So you see that white that's appearing there? Now it should be facing the other way. And sure enough, there we go. So I'm just going to take each edge and drag them out where it needs to be to where it shows. And that's all you need to do to kind of give it an X2 that kind of gives it a nice touch. Again, you don't have to make it so thick as I did. I like to make it thick just so it stands out. I'm going to go ahead and grab that color and apply. And there we go. It gives it a nice finish to our foundation and our um, wood planking. Okay, so the other question was raised is how do I arch these beams? And so if we notice the way you built this wall, I'm going to select this wall. So I'm selecting this wall right here. I can do it both in the 2D or the 3D. I'm going to open it up and go into my railings and see you've already set it to be uh, post to beam, which is fine. But if you're using chief post to beam, you can't 
manipulate that beam in the way you want to do it. So you're going to have to uncheck it. And we still want to raise the post. So with all those unchecked, I'm going to go over to the Newells of Ballasters and I'm going to raise this up to say, I don't know, 96 inches or something. So it pops up and then click OK. And so now I've got the same effect where the, the posts are coming up to meet the beam. And now we just need to place in our own beam. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Using my elevation tool, I'm going to take a cross-section elevation. And why don't we get rid of the 3D view so the computer doesn't have to generate so much. And I'm going to zoom in here. And using my polyline solid or primitive tool, I'm going to kind of start where I see your last one left off. And I'll just bring it in. And then I can zoom way in using my roller on my mouse. I'm just going to zoom way in and reposition this to where I think I need it to be. There we go. Now I need to raise up my post a little bit more, but before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and create my arch. So I've selected my polyline. I'm going to actually let's open it up and make it the thickness of, say, six inches thick. So now it's six inches thick. And if I go to the 3D view, I can see it's back here on this wall. So I can grab it and bring it forward. And it might not line up or behave the way I wish it to, so I'm just going to kind of have to force it in where I want. Back up, see if everything else is pretty good. Still not touching, so because I think I moved it out of the way. I'm going to plaster it in there. I'll even grab my eyedropper, grab the blue, and apply it there so it all looks good. Okay, so now I've selected this edge, and what I want to do is I want to now go to my cut tool, my break line tool. It's also the number three on the keyboard, so you just hit that bad boy. Straight up from the corner there, I'm just going to, using my crosshairs, kind of line up where I want to cut it. I want to cut it there, and right off the edge of this one, I want to cut it there. Now I want to select this line, making sure my big grab handle there is selected on that line of the polyline. And I'm going to use the arc tool now, the change line arc tool. Select it one time, <coughs> and I'll notice it created an arc. And you just reverse the arc to what you want. Use that little diamond one to grab it. Then my finishing touch, I need to select that wall again. Open it up, go over to that newels and balusters, and I don't know, let's make this 101 inches, let's say. And boom, hey, check it out. Okay, so everything works good. So that's how you do it. That's how you can put a foundation and a nice little trim molding on your porch, as well as trick out the beams ahead and uh, make them do what you want them to do. So I hope that helps, Derek, and thank you for choosing ChiefTutor.com. Remember, guys, if you have any questions or concerns with your plan and you want a quick fix, send it on in to Chief Tutor, and we might just be able to solve it for you. Thanks, guys. Talk to you all again soon.